Welcome to another Super Deluxe Edition unboxing video. Today we're going to look at the 40th anniversary reissue of Motorhead's Ace of Spades. Now we've got three physical formats to look at. We're going to start off with the 2 CD edition, move on to the 3 LP vinyl version and then at the end have a look at the big Super Deluxe Edition box set. So this is the 2 CD. Um, it's a, it comes in the sort of hardback book packaging which I really like and tremendous front cover tremendous album actually and this is nicely done there's some notes inside telling you kind of the story of the record some additional photos etc great photos there there's uh, that's good that's a contact sheet of the front cover session and then at the end, there's the two discs. So there's the album, remastered, which is there. And the second CD is Live in Belfast from 1981, so that's what that is. And on the back, you can see it's got all the trap listing, etc., etc. So nicely done. This is the sort of budget option if, if that's what you want to go for. That's the two CD set of Ace of Spades. Now the three LP version, which is what I'm holding here, this contains the same content as the two CD sets. You get the album remastered and you also get the Live at Belfast audio. Now the vinyl packaging actually echoes the CD because it's done in this kind of book style. It feels great, nice kind of smooth finish to the front cover. Front cover looks excellent. And yeah, of course, the book format gives them the opportunity to do the photos and the text nice and big. So again, 40th anniversary of Ace of Spades. And this is just like a giant version of the CD booklet, really. This is nicely done, though. Look, you get all the lyrics done like this. You don't get this in the CD booklet, so that's a nice touch. I love all the photos on this. And the design throughout is really good and we'll see that extended into the box set in a minute. There you go, so there's the uh, same kind of photos from the CD. And then at the back it's similar kind of style folio for the record. So the actual album proper is in this folio there. Now I hate to sound like a broken a hump record but none of these albums are in polyline sleeves I mean, what is it with polyline sleeves are they are they laced with saffron and have gold leaf embedded in them or something i mean they can't be that expensive so i don't understand why more companies more labels don't use them so that's the album and the uh, live at belfast is across two records actually one thing i should say about that record is it's half speed mastered so that album the album is half speed mastered so that's obviously worth pointing out but uh yeah so it's two records for live at belfast and they're in the same kind of sleeve black vinyl so that slots in at the back so very nice appropriately deluxe for the 40th anniversary but we don't want to give you that what you really want is the especially if you're a vinyl fan, is the 7LP plus 10 inch plus DVD Super Deluxe Edition box set. So let's take a look at that. So here we go. Wow, straight away I'm loving this. It has brilliant design, nice kind of textured feel to the uh, box set. And it has this, what they call belly band. This is really like a belly belt, I suppose, but a very stylish die cut belly band around the box set and on the back here it actually gives you some details so I guess this is instead of one of those bits of paper that just float around and you don't really know what to do with so this is quite nicely done uh, and it'll stay on the box set much more easily but this just gives you the overview of the contents of the box set so you get the half speed mastered ace of spades the album you get two live albums you get the Belfast which was in the 3LP version there's a second one recorded in France at the Parc Expo, Orléans, uh, which is kind of the Loire Valley region of France, sort of north, central north France. 
Yeah, there's a two album set called The Good, The Broke and The Ugly, which is demos, alternate versions, B-sides, etc. And you also get a seven track, 10 inch EP called A Fistful of Instrumentals, which are previously unreleased demo instrumental tracks from the Ace of Spades album. And there's a DVD at the end with a 5.1 mix and some TV footage. Pretty heavy, pretty weighty with all that vinyl inside. So uh, let's take the lid off and have a look. Okay, so first thing to say is nothing's wasted here. So inside the lid is this game. Um, there's some dice in this box set, which we'll see in a minute, but they've kind of created this game here. Obviously, Ace of Spades has the big gambling kind of theme to it. Um, don't ask me how you play it or what you're supposed to do, but it's quite nicely done and I'm, I really like the graphic design. Uh, it's very stylish and it's obviously in keeping with the themes of, and the style of the album. Now, like, like quite a few boxes, it has a ribbon to help you access the inside, but this is a nice little touch. This isn't a smooth, silky ribbon. It's a rough, hessian kind of woven ribbon. That's what you'd expect with Motorhead, isn't it? So I think that's good. We uh, pull up the um, content here. This is an envelope full of bits. Uh, really nicely done, the uh, style of it. So what do you get inside this envelope? Well, you get the 10 inch vinyl record, fistful of instrumentals. And it has these early unreleased instrumentals on it, including Ace of Spades and uh, Lovely, Love Me Like a Reptile and various tracks from the record. And that looks like that. All the vinyl's black. There's no coloured vinyl in this set. Now this is nice. This is like the story of the Ace of Spades done in this book form. Uh, it's a perfect band book has a textured sleeve with the gold foil blocking on the front. And I think this is an expanded version of what's in the CD booklet. Just to flick you through, you get a feel for it. Written by Chris Needs. So that's great content there. Next up, this is a recreation of an original comic called Rock Commando. Kind of as you might expect. And the obligatory tour program from the era. So there you go, this is the Ace Up Your Sleeve tour from uh, late 1980. And that's it, so that's it for that little wallet kind of envelope thing at the front. That's that. Now then, so this is the music. One thing you might see as an advantage is this is the same half speed mastered version of Ace of Spades. But unlike in the deluxe version, you, you know, it does stand alone as its own album, which you might prefer. Same sleeve, same black vinyl. So that's the album proper. The same goes for the Live at Belfast album. It's quite nice having its own, having it as its own record, gatefold, special artwork on the front, images in the uh, gatefold. So I do like the way that they've done this. Same black vinyl, same sleeves. So the Live in Orleans one is unique to this super deluxe edition. This is 1981 again in March. As before, black vinyl, nice artwork in the uh, gatefold sleeves. There's the second record there. I guess those colours pick up the front cover, don't they? So the blue label on the first record and the kind of sandy red label on the second. So The Good, The Broke and The Ugly is the third double LP set in this package, which gives us seven records if you add the single LP album to the uh, mix. 
nicely artworked up. So these are kind of alternate versions, B-sides, that kind of thing. Some of this would have been out before on the two CD set from I think 2006 that Sanctuary put out. But I don't think any of them have been on vinyl before. Apart from the, obviously when they, if anything that was on a B-side would have been on vinyl back in the day. Everything's got this 40th anniversary logo on it. So that's the final vinyl in this package. And then at the bottom, I mean, this just looks so good, doesn't it? Look at that. Fantastic job with the artwork on this, really is. So these are the dice here. Actually, there's um, five dice in there, so that's for you to play the game at the, um, which is inside the box, presumably. And then here, what we've got is we've got the DVD. So that comes out. At least I think it comes out. Right, well, this doesn't come out. There you go. A little bit strange, you'd think that would have pulled out, but that's, that appears to be glued to the back. So I'm not even going to give it a yank. But um, what we've got in here is the 5.1 mix of the album, which I haven't listened to yet, but looking forward to giving that a spin. And then there's a whole load of not insignificant content in terms of TV appearances. There's Top of the Pops, there's um, various German shows. And then there's video of some of Live in Belfast from the live album we were looking at. And there's an interview there. There's, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff on there. Having the 5.1 mix is really good. I think I would have preferred it if you could pull this out and just put it on the shelf, just sort of being forced to keep it stuck at the bottom of the box there is a little bit annoying. But, but how good does this look? I mean, it looks fantastic, really nicely done. Great job, I think. So we just put everything goes back on top here. Actually, hang on, rookie error. Put that back. So all the vinyl goes back on top, making sure to put the ribbon back in place. So it's three gatefold, two LP sets. And then the, the single vinyl goes on top of that. Here's the envelope with the uh, books in and the 10 inch. And then the lid goes back on the top. And let's not forget to slide the belly belt back on. So there we have it. So that's the 40th anniversary Motorhead Ace of Spades box set, seven LP, 10 inch vinyl, DVD, lots of books and other bits in there as well. Now this retails for around 150, 160 pound mark. So it's not cheap by any means, but I think they've done a very good job in terms of the overall desirability of the content. They've, they have included the 5.1 mix, they've included that DVD, uh, the seven pieces of vinyl, not including the 10 inch. So I think the content is not insignificant. Of course, it is a vinyl box set, so if you're into CDs, then it doesn't really necessarily offer you what you want. But I think overall, uh, Sanctuary, BMG, have presented this really well. I think a hell of a lot of care and attention has gone into the design anyway. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at Motorhead Ace of Space, the 40th anniversary editions. If you have, why not subscribe to the SDE YouTube channel for more great physical music unboxed. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. <laughs>